Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch, and this is the project we're making today. Okay, so this is my blessing mix for 2015, and if you take the little clothespin off, inside is the blessing mix. Now, head over to my website. This PDF is available for you to print, uh, and I just used Whisper White cardstock. Um, on my printer, okay? So the supplies you're gonna need is a piece of Tangelo Twist uh, regular cardstock, and this just measures eight and a half by 11, so no cutting on this one. We're gonna be using a doily, and I made this project super simple because I am um, very tardy this year on posting this project. We're gonna be using some Happy Haunting washi tape to cover the little clothespin. The two little elements, the acorn and the leaf, this is from the Into the Woods elements. We're using some burlap. And then the bags, we do sell these cellophane bags. They're uh, four by six, and they come in a pack of 50. And we're gonna be also using the circle framelits, and this is the three and a half inch circle. And I wanted to show you that if you wanted to decorate this a little bit more, um, you could stamp a background on the back of your, or on the front and the back of your box. You can also stamp a leaf in the background. I just decided to keep mine plain and simple. I need to make uh, six of these really quickly. So this is actual my actual one for this year. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside and we'll start making it. Just slide this out of the way. There are no stamps and no ink because you're going to be printing this right from your computer. The simply scored scoring tool. And we're going to place it in portrait first. And let's see, can you see the ruler? We're going to score it at two inches on both sides. So two inches and then turn it and score it at two. Then I'm going to place it in landscape and I'm going to score it at four and a half on both sides. So I've done the first one and then I'm just going to turn it and score at four and a half. You will need your bone folder for this project because the cardstock is really thick. Uh, some years I've made this project with designer series paper. Sometimes I've made it with um, jars. Um, this year I just chose to go with something simple. I think most of them have been simple now that I think about it. Okay, so now what you're going to do is, see this is in portrait, and you've got this score line here, you've got this score line here, so all I'm going to do is fold this score line down to meet this score line. And I'm just going to keep my finger right in that corner and then press. And then I am going to take my bone folder and I'm going to do that on all four corners. Okay. Last one. Okay, so you can apply some adhesive here if you want to, but you don't have to, so it's just like that. And then you would add your clothespin. So I'm gonna set this aside. We're gonna go ahead and cut out our Blessing Mix poem. Uh, what I did was I printed this on Whisper White cardstock and I cut it in half at four and a quarter. And then what we're gonna do is take our framelit and place this right on top and cut that out, okay? So I left you room. Um, you should be able to cut all three of these um, perfectly. Okay, big shot, magnetic platform, cutting pad. Then I'm gonna place the poem here and line that up. Just making sure I'm not cutting off any words. I like putting these on the table, uh, on the place settings for everyone that comes uh, for Thanksgiving. Okay, so now let's get our bag back out, or box. I don't know what to call this. A box bag, a bag box. 
let's see, I'm going to take the clip back off and just place this on here. I'm going to take this and put three dimensionals on the back. Now let's cover the clothespin with the washi tape. And while I'm attaching the washi tape to the clothespin, I want to remind you that on Monday uh, we are going to be having a uh, online extravaganza sale. Um, all the details are already posted on my blog. You can head over there and look at it. Um, on Monday the 23rd, which is Chase's 23rd birthday, um, there's a flash sale. I will warn you, those products go really fast. It's only while supplies last. There is another flash sale on Monday the 30th. So there's, there's going to be a sale for a week long, Monday through Monday, but two flash sales. And everything is while supplies last. So don't hesitate. I, I will warn you that things are going to go fast. They always do. We all love sales. I hope I get to get a few things. And the list is already posted on my website, so you can go ahead and hop on over there and print that list and take a look at it. Mark your favorites. Okay, so I covered that and I just cut off the extra on each side. So we're just going to bring it up here to the top. When I was making this project, at first I cut a hole at the top and then added some ribbon. Um, but I just love these clothespins. So then we're going to take two pieces or two strands of the burlap and we're going to tie a bow. You could just use one if you wanted or you could use linen thread. I really like how this burlap has the little crinkle to it. It's almost like somebody took a crimper to their hair <laughs> or a crimper to the, to the burlap. Okay, I'm just going to trim the tails on that real quick. And we're just going to add it to the clothespin using a glue dot. Let's see if I can see the thing. I have a light that's shining right on my eye. Okay, so glue dot. And then add it right there. Isn't that cute? Okay, the final step is we're going to use, well, not the final, because we got to do the blessing mix. So I'm going to hold off on the elements for just a second and show you the ingredients. I, I get a lot of emails about this every year, and I forget to tell everybody what they are. So this time, I got it all ready, and I'm going to show you what it is. So the PDF to print these are free, posted on my website. You're going to want some candy uh, slices orange slices. I don't really like those, but my family does. A couple pretzels, some bugles. Mm, I love bugles. And candy corn. Did I get Oh, and then peanuts. This year I got honey roasted peanuts so that way I could eat them afterwards. Okay. So there is your blessing mix. Ruh -ruh. I broke a bugle. Not that it matters. This is just a sample. So I'll close this up. And then I'm just going to tape it with some scotch tape. And believe it or not, when I serve these, people do actually open them up at the table and eat them. And I'm, I'm of course, Angie saves everything. So I personally would put it in my purse and hide it. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Now we'll add these little elements. I don't mean hide it, I just meant save it for later because I want to copy it. So there's that one. And this one. Okay, so that wraps up the Blessing Mix container for 2015. Don't forget to head over to my website, download this free PDF, and check out the online extravaganza sale. Have a great day. Bye.